Yeshiva world. Who knows exactly why we're here today? Anybody want to venture a guess? Protect our children. To protect our children. Good. But it's, it's even deeper than that. You know why we're here today? Because there's a lot of people that think we're not doing enough to protect our children. A lot of people. So when I was riding over here today, I thought that this meeting would be a little more interactive. All right? Because the question really becomes, this, you just heard from the FBI, terrorism is on the rise. There's terrorist attacks in every country. Every country. Okay? I, just to name a few, you have, they stormed the university in uh, Kenya, killing 148 people. They, in September 2004, everybody remembers the Besman School. 1,100 people were captured, 770 of them were children. It ended with the death of 385 people. Then you get our own domestic terrorists that kill people in schools all the time. Sandy Hook, Virginia Tech, all over the place. So like, terrorism has hit our shores since, what, for about 25 years now. But my question to you is, what are you doing about it? As I came into this building today, I followed a a local rabbi in, and the buzzer rang, and he said who he was, and then the next question was, well, who you with? Now that tells me that, yeah, we got a buzzer, but we don't have any surveillance equipment, because I'm there with three guys in uniform, right? So who, out of all the administrators here, who has a school that they really think is semi-secure? Good. What kind of equipment do you have? I have surveillance cameras. I have only one entrance and exit. I have a fence all around my security. I have an armed guard that walks the perimeter. Oh, a security guard inside. That's what I like to hear. He has an armed guard. Fantastic. Everyone knows in these incidents, time is of the essence. The terrorist wants to get in, kill as many people as he can, and get out. So it sounds like he has a lot of things. Ever. We must rely on each other. Core al-Qaeda-based threats coming out of the Afghanistan-Pakistan region have been significantly reduced over the past decade. But offshoot al-Qaeda groups continue to evolve. Groups like ISIL, have created slick media campaigns to recruit fighters from all over the world to join their self-proclaimed caliphate. Targeting misguided souls, these groups effectively convince those with troubled minds that to wage jihad is the only true way to find meaning in their lives. Their tactics include the use of propaganda to influence decision-making abilities, a faith-based approach of engaging in violent conduct to find meaning in one's life, and the exploitation of online forums, including social media, to serve as a means of self-radicalization. We've all watched in horror as ISIL militants savagely beheaded those they've held captive. And attacks on the Western government and law enforcement personnel continue to rise. Recent events in Paris and San Bernardino, California, understandably, have our citizenry and many in the law enforcement community on edge. But while the threat remains... On the average, New York City receives about 300 to 350 hate crimes annually, uh, possible bias incidents, within the five boroughs. Many of the uh, hate crime cases that we catch are high profile in nature. They generate substantial amount of media attention. Uh, you'll recall in the middle of December, there was a, in Astoria, Queens, there was a uh, uh, Muslim store owner who was apparently uh, called some anti-Muslim slurs and assaulted. The case initially, that speech didn't come out initially, so he was charged under a misdemeanor assault and released. Sh 
um, shortly thereafter it became apparent that there was some kind of uh, anti-Muslim speech. The case got uh, enormous amount of media attention. Uh, you know, I, um, it, got, it became national news. And at that point, it became somewhat complex for us. We had to secure a sealed indictment. We had to, um, we had to get an extradition warrant. We had to travel out to Florida. And just this weekend, you know, on New Year's Day, my detectives were able to bring this individual into New York and arrest him and have him answer for those charges as a hate crime. So, uh, so those are the type of cases that we uh, very frequently get involved in.